that guy is how he's doing. I'm just happy to say that when I'm older than you, one of the copies of issue 12. I'm going to have a few more of these coming in. This is like one of the typo versions. Well, around Cruiser Time, Hulu.com, email me saying they had some problems with the process of the magazine, so they get they sent me a copy when I fixed it. Well, for right now. Well, I was looking at it, I didn't realize it had some typos in it. The first part of TLC had Carol Saul and typo it there late at night. And then the other one, I fucked up the title on it. The author I messed up a title when I was the one that's deceased. A public domain story. Well, it happens. But the rest of the magazine came out without a hitch. I'll show you, I got something to show you here. It's on page. Hang on, let me look, let me look it up here. Let me look it up. Give me a minute. It's all right. Page 54. That'll be my story, The Midnight Diner. There's something I gotta show you in there that you might, some of you might recognize from way back. It's something I drew when I was living in Iowa at the time. I have to find where it's at. Give me a second. I'm flipping the chain. I'm flipping the pages. Flipping the pages. I'm flipping the pages. The story is pretty long, so. Alright. Where's it at? Ah, right there. There you guys. You might recognize the drawing from way back. Yeah, that's the song I drew from Mason City, Iowa. I decided to introduce something old and something new. So with the photograph here, we're signed for Scott Davidson. That photograph was taken on Veterans Day. The one of the different kinds of stuff on the same day. And this is the big issue with Ray Faraday Nelson. So Ray, if you're watching this, welcome aboard, man. It's an honor to have me on board. But the rest of the guys will line up. One of the others came back for this issue is one of my founding writers, S.C. Carden. She wrote a story in there called The Scorpion Temple. And on, the, on one of the pages of a very cool photograph of her in black. Her story is kind of a nod between the late Robert Malenke and something I wrote across the H.P. Lovecraft. And it's got all of all three of us. So picture the picture if Robert Malenke and I wrote a story of Lovecraft. Yeah, you have S.C. Carden's new story. The other new one in it is by S.G. Sk Jeff, Jeff Skinner. Skinner wrote one thing. He said, if you want to change and make it boyer, go ahead. Well, I decided to keep the integrity of the story intact. And also, I want to introduce another writer. I'll put it up here like that. And I want to introduce the new version of the Nasek Anthology. Yeah, those of you who might recognize this one is a 200 page version. I had two lineup changes at the very end of the, at the end of the process of the book. One on the other side of Bow Out because I wanted to do a time and sweat your David Boyer in the place where I can fuck. Well, one of the others came in this time around is a, name, a guy by the name of Jason Hughes. Hughes, you can look up on Internet to the movie database. He's got a movie coming out. If you have any questions about who to, how to buy his movie, drop a message on Facebook. 